Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I take a look at the creepy and strange things making its way around the internet. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little different. I set up a 100 inch wall here uh, and I'm going to watch some creepy stuff and hopefully it doesn't scare me. And if you enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Uh, let's get started. Life is this. I like this. I think our world is halfway there, especially with the release of the Apple Vision Pro, because I've already seen people walk around with these headsets on. Uh, what do you guys think? Does it look stupid or is it the future? Buenas noches, la plaza ya se cerró. ¿Hay alguien aquí? Buenas noches. The screen is too big, it's creeping me out. Buenas noches. What would you do in that situation? I don't know how people can work as security guards at night in like huge places. My guy needs to turn on some lights though. Hay algún niño aquí? Buenas noches. What if you just saw someone just dashing by? I might have made a mistake deciding that I'm going to watch this on a 100 inch wall. Uh, it's actually pretty creepy now that I realize I'm really close to the wall as you can see. Yeah, it's it's pretty creepy. But what would you do in that situation if you heard kids? I would either be thinking that there's someone squatting in there or it's some weird ass paranormal stuff. But it's so creepy. Like working as a security guard in these type of places. And I think most of the time they don't let you turn on the lights, right? Because they're trying to preserve energy. So it kind of sucks. You're just walking around with a flashlight if you have one. Checking places out, doing your nightly run, I guess. It's so creepy. Excuse me, mate. Um, 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 what, um, what are you doing? Well, put a ticket on your car. Why? Well, it says uh, electric cars only. This is an electric car. You've got a ticket. No, no, but this is an electric car. This is this is it's a Tesla, mate. No, it's not an electric car. Anyway, did he just do a little you spark there? <laughs> you can appeal if you want to. Thanks very much. But like, hold a minute, yes, assault. I, I can appeal if I want to. So it's the hold a minute. I should now go. It's now in my inconvenience now, yeah, to appeal because I, I'm an electric car yeah, in a Tesla, yeah. Part Excuse me, sir. So um, this is for electric cars. Yeah. This is not an electric car. This is not. I've issued car. you with a penalty notice that says. You will pay a fine because you've parked in a bay that is reserved for an electric car. But this is an electric car. No, it's not an electric this car. This is an electric car, man. Well, it's not. And anyway, I've given you the ticket, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, you but mate, this is an electric car. car. Or you can pay if you want to. It's yeah, actually, yeah, but this is a Tesla. Guy only has one job. I don't know what that is, sir. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, this is a car. It's not electric. It's not really set up like an electric yeah, but thing car. Is, how, how do you know it's not electric? Well, this is not an electric car. I, I mean, it just was a normal car to me. Let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, this is a car, sir. This I know this is a car. <laughs> well, old a car. It's not a bike, it's not into a how, how did this guy get this job? I mean, the guy only has one job, is to spot all electric cars. And he, how does he not know a Tesla is an electric car? I like how he does a walk around and goes like, oh, that's, that's a normal car, sir. <laughs> this has got to be fake, because how do you not know a Tesla is an electric car? This is like your only job. Hay un niño golpeando la puerta. Okay, that one looks pretty real to me, right? If it was fake, how 
was that done because that was actually pretty good that guy's pretty good at special effects and if anything and it is our two-year anniversary officially two years uh, we've been dating for two years but we've known each other forever You didn't just see something come in here? The dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night here. I can't really go to bed myself. What the fuck is that? What? Oh! Oh shit. Yeah, it's for Stan. I I won't break them. <laughs> Michelle's getting like really good at the drums. So you might have some competition when you get back. <laughs> we love you. We'll see you soon. Go. I didn't see anything that one. <laughs> That's that's actually really creepy. What do you guys think? Are these clips real? Because they look pretty convincing to me. But I guess it could be faked as well. But I don't see a reason why these guys would actually fake this though. I hate elevator pranks. That's so creepy. Why would you do that happen to you? So creepy. That's not even a prank. This lady is traumatized. Wait, what? probably just coming home from work or school and she's so tired and then this happens what, what would you do I didn't know that they turn on the sirens when they do these type of demolitions. That's that's pretty cool though. I've never seen one in real life, but it looks like it'd be a pretty cool sight to see. Has that ever happened to you? She's got scared by her own reflection of her feet. You're done. It went up trying to catch my ghost lacking. So for today's drink... That's how everyone should react to both situations.
there is definitely someone inside of my car. I mean, yeah, I looked everywhere, but I keep hearing a water bottle slosh around. This one's unsloshable. I threw one earlier. It might have been that. I'm not filming for entertainment. I'm filming so they know I know they're there. So they stop doing what I think they're going to try to do. Why are you in here? Why would you hide in a fridge? If I look into my rear view and see eyeballs, I'm rear ending a wall. I'm either paranoid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my man is paranoid here. I'm so sore from working out so much. It almost hurts when I punch someone. Are you hungry? Can I get you something? Scary people cannot come out if lights are on. What would even be the point? There's no fun in that. I'm recording, you know. I'm not just talking to myself. I didn't know if I made that clear. I sometimes struggle with communication. I want to go home, but I can't because then you'll know where I live and you'll hurt people. There's literally three guys moving me on the sidewalk right now. I love where I live. I think I've just worked myself. Okay, guy needs to just find a police station and pull over or something like that. Has this ever happened to you guys where you scare yourself with your own reflection or you think you see something but there's actually nothing there? That's all these videos. It's pretty it's pretty funny. I've I've done that a couple of times. If you are inside your home with the lights out, do not look outside your window. Turn on your lights before you look through any window. Do not leave your home if you see a figure outside. Even if he is turned away, do not look at him. Lock all doors and windows before turning off all lights inside your residence. Hide in a small space and call what authorities. Would you do? do not move from hiding unless you hear an unfamiliar voice. If you do hear a familiar voice coming from inside your home, do not move. He is inside. He yeah, is inside. That's so creepy. He is inside. I'm not too sure this is the original creator's upload, but she makes really cool TikToks, like really creepy TikToks. It's pretty interesting. You guys should check her out. So we just realized the barbershop is haunted. I didn't notice the door moved at first. Pay attention to the door. How scary can that be though? There's like a bunch of dudes there, man. My boy John was super spooked, and so was I. The shop is for sale now if someone is interested. A door all of a sudden opens on its own and then promptly closes itself seconds later. It continues to do this until stopping about a minute later. The barbers were left spooked as seen on camera. Now something else happens in this video that you might have missed. At the start of the video, we see the door opening for the first time. It is around this time though that a transparent figure passes by the TV. Whatever this is, viewers believe that it may be responsible for the strange My boy's activity, just waiting for a haircut. We're only getting started because what happens next is just downright creepy. An hour later, one of the barbers approaches the door when the following happens. What you're about to see is some aggressive paranormal activity. I really didn't want to touch the door handle. Yo, back your boy up, man. There's like 10 of you in there. Look at everyone's reaction. I pulled up the camera angle from the back room and everything was thrown everywhere. Some bad energy in that place. Like most viewers, Barber T doesn't know what to make of this. Looks like there's some weird energy going on in that barbershop. But come on guys, there's like 10 of you. All you guys combined, you guys got that one ghost? Come on. Nah. Nah. <laughs> so nah, satisfying. Nah. That was so satisfying to watch. My intrusive thoughts are telling me to get a tree, climb up somewhere high, and try to replicate this because that was just so satisfying. <laughs> What's that guy doing? Okay, I gotta watch that one more time.
that was just karma in plain sight. He moved in front of the skater to try to make him fall, I guess. So that guy jumped off and then he just slowly stepped on the board and slipped. That's just the biggest karma move I've ever seen. This is why you don't scare your cat. Bro's like, you're trying to scare me? Jay! 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 Help! I'm bleeding! Close the door! Close the door! I'm bleeding really badly! Is that the cat? No. No. I said no, Max. No. You're mean. No. Maxwell. Never mess with cats, okay? Cats will attack you. They're not like dogs. They will literally just attack you and they don't, they don't care. People are just walking in front of it like we're not recording. Hey, it happens. Be where people. None of it's intentional. Never attribute to malice what can be attributed to incompetence. It's far more likely that they're all in their own worlds, doing their own thing. They're not paying attention to the world around them. And we all do it every day, whether you're driving, walking down the street. All of our lives are just as complex as everybody else's. Everything you have going on, they have going on. Nobody Guy has figured else life out. We also need to be a little more self-aware and aware of the world around us. That was deep. You gotta look deep to find the deep things. If all you ever do in your life is stay at the surface, you'll never find anything worth exploring. Are you real? I try to be. This guy's a walking philosophy. Are you an AI? No, not at all. Guy just randomly found the most down to earth guy in the world. So, what that guy is saying is pretty much a definition of the word Sonder. And if you don't know what that is, I'll read it out to you. The realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own, populated with their own ambitions, friends, routines, worries, and inherited craziness. An epic story that continues invisibly around you like an anthill sprawling deep underground with elaborate passageways to thousands of other lives that you'll never know existed in which you might appear only once as an extra sipping coffee in the background as a blur of a traffic passing on the highway as a lighted window at dusk so to break it to all your main characters out there you guys are the main characters all right everyone has as crazy as a life as you I think I'm done for the night, so thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.